Hello, beautiful Leos. We're here for your reading. Let's take a look and see what your lover is thinking, feeling, and might do in the relationship. The energy at the bottom of the deck. Oh my gosh, Leo, the death card. Scorpio energy. So let's see what's going on here with you. Your love interest. Okay, so the current energy is the three of swords. So there has been heartbreak and a breakup. This person wants to reunite with you. They want to reconcile with you. Six of Cups energy is is uh, Taurus energy, or excuse me, Scorpio energy, and it's all about a rebirth, right? Scorpio energy here. Three of Swords is Libra energy. Bringing you into the reading today, Leo, is this energy of the Eight of Swords. Like there's nothing you can do about what's happened. So for some of you, you're breaking up and trying to make up is what it looks like. Your person wants to heal the old wounds. It looks as though you have been apart for a while. You were separated for, I think, quite some time. There was some outside inter influence or interference. The Aries Queen is coming in here. Your person sees you as very sexy, very dynamic, very smart. Um, somebody who's fun to be with. Somebody who goes for what quote unquote she wants. Look at this. Now we have the Aries King. Leo, Leo, look at that. We've got, well, not the Aries King, the Emperor. So the Emperor is a King of the Kings. So your person is after you. I like the energy. Look at this, though. There have been disappointments in this relationship. Your person is wondering if the two of you can overcome the sadness. They seem determined, though, to make it happen. Oh, here we have it, the King of Pentacles, the daddy energy. That energy is all about home and hearth and um, a beautiful library, being very intelligent, being very, uh, very good in their career. This is a person who's built an empire. The dog is next to them. They're feeling very passionate about you. They're feeling very loyal to you. They want to have a new beginning. They're hoping it works. We're getting Wheel of Fortune turns in your favor. Nice. Destiny is saying the time is yours. They want a beautiful marriage with you and a very lush home, a very abundant lifestyle. This is a person who wants both of you to enjoy the fruits of your labor. They feel as though they want this beautiful home in which it feels homey. You come home, there's something great on the table. The house is beautiful. There's money for children. There's, there's an abundance here with the dog as loyalty twice. So Leo, you are in a good position. We see your person is thinking very intellectually about the relationship. This is a card of strategic planning, but you have a very powerful energy. The Emperor card with the King of Swords means your person just has decided to make this work. They're also coming to the table with all of this energy. So your person is appearing three times I would say that the Scorpio energy is telling me also when we get three different quote unquote kings or masculine energies, this person may have thought at one time that there was a third party. There may have been, um, but both of you look as though you, you know, you had other people in your life while you were separated from one another. It looks like this person wants to get back together again with you. I feel as though it's a done deal in their mind. Their action is, you know, they're not positive quite yet, but it looks like it's on the verge, on the precipice of happening. What do we have here for the Three of Swords card? Why is it here? The King of, oh my gosh, all right. Okay, Leo, here you are and you're reading the Leo King. Now we have the King of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. So the only king missing right now is a Scorpio King. <laughs> but what we're seeing is your person feels as though you're highly desirable, that everybody wants you. Everybody wants you, Leo. They're just so heartbreaking broken because everybody wants you. Oh, well, oh, you know. Life can be that way for a Leo. You guys are the lovers of the universe. I love it. Six of Cups, why is it here for us? Why is the Six of Cups here? So even though your person's brokenhearted, it's because they feel as though 
you are the love of their life, the infinity symbol. You're the love of their life. Okay, so we have two of swords. So the two of swords says that right now, whatever plans you have for getting together, for seeing each other, look like they're delayed. The two of swords is usually a minor delay. The eight of swords says your person is really feeling frustrated. The eight of swords is, you know, a feeling of, God, oh, could I ever get out of these chains? All right, five of cups, your person's missing you a great deal, missing you a great deal. A double five of cups energy here. Okay, why do they love you so much? <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell you that for those of you who have decided not to chase your person, that it has been a very powerful force in their attraction to you. Uh, this person looks as though they're used to a lot of attention and they're, you know, they're very accustomed to it. It doesn't even occur to them that someone could ignore them. So when, you, when you've ignored them or when you have been in this energy of indecision with them, it actually, it's moved them towards you more quickly. When they feel as though you're at a crossroads, when they feel as though it's time for you to make a final decision, they get very, very nervous. They're very afraid you might not choose them. So there you go. You are at a crossroads is how they feel. And that, that's how they feel that the two of you are, is that you're at a crossroads, Knight of Cups energy. One, one in, I want to say, remember the song, Some Enchanted Evening? Now that is an old movie song. But your person wants some enchanted evening with you, Leo. Let's see, why is a death card here? Why is a death card? Other than they may be a Scorpio. Page of Swords, okay. So whatever happened in the past that brought your relationship to a temporary ending or separation, what we're seeing here is that there was fear of a third party. Probably messages were sent on phones. There was something to do with messaging, page of swords, something to do with the internet, something to do with being suspicious because of it. Being suspicious because of it. Okay, so let's look at the King of Wands, Pentacles. I have so many kings here, I can't keep them straight. <clears throat> Three of Cups. Celebration, it looks like you're gonna have a celebration. It looks like your person has a big old coin right there on their lap. It looks like it's going to be a very lavish party, my friends. And it's Leo season, so big and bold is the way. We have the Five of Swords here. So there is something that is interfering with the timing of the two of you being back together. The Five of Swords is usually something, it looks as though with the Wheel of Fortune, it's a good delay or it's a delay that will bring prosperity and happiness, but it's an annoying delay in a reunion, in the party, the party that the two of you want to have together. It looks like the two of you want to see each other and it looks like there's a delay, but it's a good delay. It's a delay that's going to bring money and abundance. And, you know, part of the world is going under restriction again so i think that that's part of it okay so the ten of coins why do we have the whoops the ten of coins here six of coins so your person's really planning on being very generous with you they know that they make a lot more money than you or so it appears uh, but we get the six of coins meaning that your person likes to give you gifts uh, and they understand that you can't really reciprocate. They're very happy just being with you. They don't really think about gifts. The gift of your attention is what they want, Leo. The gift of your undivided attention, that is what's going to hold this person. I feel as though they want to marry. I don't think this, they're not in this for casual relationship. Their goal, their desire <clears throat> is marriage with you. And the emperor likes to be married, right? That's how you build empires. Why is the king of swords here as your outcome? The knight of wands. Okay. 
So your person likes to come in large and in charge. They like to sweep in in a very romantic way. Even And they're very strategic about how they're romantic. So they're calm, cool, and collected, but they're very passionate. So what I'm seeing here is a relationship that could be probably somewhat volatile. I see this person is really loving you. I do think that they're a big flirt, but they also may have a career or something in the public sector where they get a lot of attention because that emperor always gets attention. That's a crowning energy. This is a king of the kings. This is the, you know, this is, these are the CEOs of the world, the CEOs, the, you know, the people who really run life. So let's look and see what your energy is here. I love this reading for you with the Moonology deck. It's a beautiful reading, Leo. Nice reading. So anyway, I'm very happy for you. It was, that death card was a little startling as a kickoff point with that three of swords but it looks like you know you were separated in the past coming together now you are good enough full moon in virgo the message is is that no matter how famous or well uh, healed or you know how successful this person is you are absolutely you are absolutely that queen of wands you are good enough my friends all right i'm gonna leave it there for you leo thank you for watching and it was my privilege to present to you thank you